here guys, over here. We have... We have a lot of new things happening in Age of Empires today. You know, so much pain. There is... There is a lot. There is a lot of pain, yes. There have been new DLCs introduced. There has been new DLCs introduced, not just for one game, but for like two games. Suggested maybe for three games. No, nothing for four. Nothing for four, although people are talking about it in the comments. But... Three is also free to play now as well, so you have no excuses to learn Age of Empires three. All of you, everyone in chat right now, all one of you, should learn Age of Empires three. Phoenix drop. So that is not even the craziest thing. There's this new DLC, uh, and I'm so so happy. Is uh so happy is in the game. I'm uh, not not really. Let's let's listen to what this guy has to say. I'm Ramsey Abdul Rahim. Here at World's Edge, we've always believed that the community is the driving force behind the success of the Age franchise. <laughs> yeah. Over the years, we've partnered with community creators. You partnered with T90. That's crazy. Help bring their ideas and passion into the games. Wow. We've also heard from many of you who have asked for more content, especially campaign content. Dude. Yes. The campaign content. Alright? How many people are playing these campaigns? I know a lot of people are playing the campaigns. But that's seriously the community you're focusing on when the game is in such a poor state. Such a poor state for the tournaments you're hosting. You guys are being so proud, right? They even did a compilation video of all the crazy big tournaments. But what... <laughs> The part they didn't put in is that the game was unplayable and that the tournament was being run on a different patch because the pros could not play on the current patch that everyone else was playing on. Okay? And then <laughs> they've, they've done like this whole video. This isn't this isn't this one, this is another one. About um how it's like two thousand where is it? You know what? Where is it? Age of Empires. Thatch. As you just saw. 2023 was the best year yet for Age of Empires. Tournament organizers and totally play the campaign. I know, dude. In oh January, my gosh, there's some freaking the drops Age today. Players. The Age of Empires. Okay, I don't know if you just saw, but I, I just went over this. The Age of Empires just dropped four hours ago. This is new, fresh, steaming hot, fresh out of the toilet From bowl. All over the world, headed to the oh. for the fifth and final edition of Nilly's Apartment Cup. Here it gets an attack oh. round, he needs another one, the Maginals... The memories made there will last a lifetime, and we'll always look back fondly yeah. on years of hard... This is the one! This is... Wait, is this it? No, it was T90s. I can't remember which patch it was on now, okay. ...and hilarious moments. Thank you to Lily for bringing players and casters together, and patch? literally inviting us to your home to watch this Pretty sure it wasn't. tournament experience. It was, I mean... There's a tough act to Not follow, but I hear T90 is up to the challenge. He certainly is. We're glad to see another hit yeah. up after a three-year break. They're the boasting about all of these fun. when the players can't even play on the same patch as the player base, right? When they're not even playing the same game because the game is actually broken for the, the 99%. <laughs> they're boasting about literally... 16 players being able to have a playable game. Out of how many people who have bought the game? How many people have bought the game? Oh great, 16 people can play! That's what they want to talk about? <sighs> it's amazing. It, it truly is. Like, it's like all the pros, Viper, Hera, everybody is talked about. T90 even, has talked about how unplayable the path thing is, alright? This has been a really known thing in our community for a long time. And for, for the age devs to come out with this, they don't mention it, alright? They're not even mentioning it. They're not even mentioning the pain of the majority of, e the even not even like the 99%, the 100%, because these guys have to play on this patch whenever they're not doing a fancy tournament they get a special fixed patch for. They, they ha also had a year of not even wanting to play the game. A lot of players like started playing other games this year because of how bad Age of Empires 2 is, and I really don't blame them. They fixed the archers. Forget... Yeah, now, 
after how long? And now they're releasing this? Boasting about their great accomplishments last year? They did nothing last year. The game got worse. The game, undisputably, every professional player, um, this is not even me talking, alright? This is like the biggest voices that I know in Age of Empires, in the Age of Empires community, have said this, that the, the pathing has gotten significantly worse last year. Like, and then... <laughs> units are moving, exactly. they died to Magano, your whole the game plan is, is off yeah. the window. So, I remember I was really frustrated in a couple of practice. I, I, I love crossbow and zero ping is amazing, mm -hmm. but like... You know, in practice, I was going for like crossbow play, mm. and I would just get so frustrated. Like, yeah. it's so unreliable, and especially in like a must-win game, you don't want to go with an mm. un unreliable shot. So, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, that answers probably a lot of viewers' questions uh, that were wondering why there's a lot of cavalry. It's ninety percent patch and maybe ten percent maps and and Sims. balance. Yes. Yeah. These these guys are just something else. They they're highlighting the pot the part of history where only these guys could play the game at a playable state, uh, like, compared to the rest of everyone. Anyway, I'm <laughs> I'm going crazy, dude. Th these videos were released, what, 12 hours ago? Four hours ago, this one? Um, me and Lucy can feel the pain through the screen. Okay, good. <laughs> and I'm thrilled to announce Victors and Vanquished. The first ever campaign focused expansion pack for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. <sighs> okay, well, features here's the great thing. Here's the great thing, at least. There's one very good thing. It's at the top of my title. They fixed the pathing now. Well done. Congratulations. Maybe it's all over. Maybe our pain is past. Maybe. Um, I, that's what I'm. That's what I'm streaming for today. I was really keen to stream. I was gonna do it yesterday, but it's uh, ended up being today, and we're gonna have a, a solid stream right now, hopefully, because we're gonna test it out and see if it actually yes. actually nice plays out. Scenario. Let's keep watching this video. That's more scenarios than any There's a, previous expansion. This is true. This is massive. When I saw this screen, I'm not gonna lie. I I wanted to react to. I decided I had to react to this on stream because my jaw pretty much dropped when I saw this. Okay. Let's like let's full screen this. What am I doing? This is big. This is a hundred percent bigger. Like like no, not even that. This is like five hundred percent bigger than any other DLC, um, like campaign edition we've ever seen. This is bigger than the base game I think had. I think this is like, this is pretty much doubling, maybe more than doubling what the base game has as in terms of like single player content. So this is massive for single player content, and then you know, like. The thing is, I'm barely through half of them. They are such a grind. Like, I don't know. I don't know where people are finding a time to play all this. Maybe it's because I put all my time into multiplayer. For the definitive edition. <laughs> but more than that, I'd like to say Victors and Vanquished is a labor of love. But you see, before joining the main the problem end, is that how many DLCs they've released lately. Myself. I'm still not I recovering from the last one. Scenarios, they had like two, two late, two last year. Players. Now, it was like in fifty dollars worth of DLC. I'd like to share some of the very best and most popular of these works with the entire Age community. That draining my wallet, man. If you played my scenarios before, you didn't play these scenarios. Each has okay. been carefully updated. He's a uh, he's really really confident of the quality of these scenarios. Of he's like he's like these are a whole nother level. We struck with our swords. We struck with our swords. Dude, we've had we've had that kind of dialogue since the base game. We've we'll had that since 1998. All new, never so he must be bursting so about something that I didn't just see. Take a look. <laughs> it is your destiny to overcome the clans. Okay, so this far, this looks this looks fairly really basic. This looks like what we've had so far. This is what we've we had so far in terms of content. And give you something new, something that re-sparks the sense of wonder and possibility when you first played the campaigns many years ago. And for new players, or those who haven't dabbled in campaigns before, these scenarios may justify your expectations on what an Age of Empires scenario is. In Ragnar, you unleash- Ragnar, this is the, the one. This is one. I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, whoa, we are actually getting some campaigns, like some, some like solid stories that people Shit. will be excited to play, inc me included. Like, I wanna play Ragnar. If I unlock Ragnar, I'm probably gonna play it. This looks cool. Send your warbands across the sea on a massive map of Northern Europe. All big empires start from humble origins, and yours will be no different. Begin with raids to pay and recruit warriors. 
Then capture Jarldoms in Norway, Denmark, and Sweden to grow your power. As you rise to become king, okay, more so it's like a at your fingertips. Like a longer progression. Use your achievements to unlock technologies. Find powerful heroes. Raid wherever you want. <laughs> okay, this is just campaign stuff. We've had this before. Maybe there are. It feels like a little bit more um like World of Warcraft y getting heroes and stuff. Like we've had this before, but they're leaning into it a bit more. Stalwart Franks. But your power is not absolute. You have three vassals. These can be your very best friends. Three vassals. Your ambition to become what are three vassals? Or there'll be a huh? thorn in your side. Balance your power against theirs and use well time gifts to keep them in line. Finally, in Oda Nobunaga, choose to play as one of six different unique factions. Will you lead the Takeda and crush your enemies with the best cavalry in Japan? Or will you command the Otomo and find your advantage in the arrival of strange people with new weapons? Or if subterfuge and assassination is more your style, I've been saying for a while. I've and been saying for a while that these DLCs are um, un pretty unnecessary. Because <laughs> like I, I'm just that's just that's how I play the game. I prefer the multiplayer and I sh like the campaign. The single player is just the grind for me. I end up getting more interested in multiplayer. Um, but I've, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people out here that want that really want this. Um, it's it's been a struggle for me accepting this, but I have to accept that there is definitely a market. There's obviously a market for the single player campaigns because people I was lapping this up, I lapping this up. The thing is, this is the first. The other reason this is huge. This is huge for I think DLC history for Age of Empires. Right? Age of Empires has never released a DLC with no new civs with no new multiplayer content unlocked to the game, you know? Right here, what we're seeing is pure campaign con pure single player content. This is probably the first DLC that I don't have to buy for a, like from a competitive standpoint. Every DLC so far, right? From a competitive standpoint, you eventually are going to have to get that that civilization because you're unlocking things in the game that are your, com your competitors, the people you're playing against, will have access to, right? So if you unlock these abilities, you have to pay like $50, $60 now to unlock all the extra civilizations on top of the $20 um, base game that you buy, right? And you have, to, you have to eventually do that if you want to play Age of Empires competitively. Like, you don't have to, but you, you will eventually really want them sooner or later, right? You, they're going to be... They're going to be things you don't have access to. This is not happening in this DLC. And that's the first. That is an absolute first. As far as I can remember. At least for like the definitive edition histories. Leverage your criminal network to recruit unsavory characters. And <laughs> what? They're using such interesting examples. Like, I've seen... There's so many very impressive campaigns. I think the problem with this is that third-party campaigns are amazing. There's... Some really, really pretty, really well done, the like, um, like mod shop, free to download, free to play games that you can, like, just get, get from the base game, right? You can go to the online, download things that other people have made, and then have a, this amazing like campaign. This is kind of thing that they're releasing here. Um, these, a lot of these have probably already been done by uh like third party people right they're, they're doing their own version that's great but a lot of these or like their equivalents have already been made there's so much content that is free to play already you don't even need to buy this there's so much even if i did all the campaigns right now i could go out and get like twice that much content for free that i would enjoy just like made by other fans right made by other fans put out there for free so like this is Sure, this is great for people who enjoy, enjoy the campaigns. And also for, great for Achievement Hunters too, which I'm not in Age of Empires yet. But, like, it's it's not necessary to buy, and I love that. It's especially not necessarily um, something any competitive player has to buy, or will we'll unlock a multiplayer, multiplayer option. So I am really happy about that.